What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic, Sean Porter is on standby because he refuses to enforce his mandatory for the Terrence Crawford fight. Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing, and we're going to do some chopping up of this whole Sean Porter, Terrence Crawford situation again today because it looks like you have some people out there, you know, putting out uh, narratives and misinformation about what's really going on with the Sean Porter. Terence Crawford situation. So, you know, uh, you have people out there talking about Sean Porter is aggressively pursuing Terence Crawford. You have our people out there saying that uh, Terence Crawford is avoiding Sean Porter or he's ducking Sean Porter. So we're going to get the facts straight today. You know, we're not going to leave any stone and turn. We're going to get the facts straight. It's not going to be a long video, but we're going to get straight to the point. So we're going to go straight to the videotape and Let's check this out. You got any questions right now, Carson? Yeah, so the, let's get the elephant in the room addressed. So the number one question in multiple forms and varieties and everything is you and Terrence Crawford. People want to know why you haven't initiated the mandatory status. What's I going on? I spoke to my dad just on Wednesday. And I, talk, I said, hey, have you talked to um, AH? And he says, no, uh, we, we haven't talked in a little bit. I says, uh, have you... Do you have you thought about anything as far as the managers are concerned? Do you know about activating these clauses that they're that I've been seeing in the news? And he says, No, I don't know about that. Let me give him a call. So that was Wednesday on Wednesday. Okay, there it is. From Sean Porter's own mouth on his own podcast. Okay. Uh and for for those of you who don't know AH is AH is Hal Heyman. Now that was a couple of months ago when that Sean Porter put out that clip. Uh, put out that, you know, uh, clip on his podcast. As a matter of fact, I encourage you to go in and watch that podcast. It's pretty, you know, Sean Porter got a pretty good podcast out there. It's, you know, he has some good topics. You should check it out. Go and check out that clip specifically to get more information about that, this particular uh, subject. But anyway, let's continue. So, supposedly Sean Porter is aggressively pursuing Terrence Crawford. Supposedly, Terrence Crawford is avoiding Sean Porter, but we're hearing from Sean Porter's own mouth that he hasn't even activated the mandatory yet. As a matter of fact, he said he asked his father about it, and his father said he doesn't know anything about that. He's going to check it out. He's going he's gonna to check it out. So what are we talking about here, people? I, I mean, it, it looks like a lot of people don't really know what a mandatory is, okay? So... We're going to define mandatory for those people out here, you know, these boxing casuals, you know, that don't know what a mandatory is. So let's get, to, let's, let's check this out. Okay. Okay. There you go. What is the mandatory challenge in boxing? In professional boxing and some other combat sports, you know, i.e. UFC, a mandatory challenger is an opponent whom a champion must either fight or be forced to vacate their title as champion. If the champion vacates the belt, the mandatory challenger is paired against another challenger for the vacant belt. So there it is, okay? Why isn't Sean Porter, if he's the mandatory for Terrence Crawford's belt, why is he not enforcing the mandatory? That is the question. We saw from his old mouth that he had actually done that yet. And that was a couple of months ago that we that that clip came out on his podcast, and it's a couple of months later, and he still hasn't done it yet. So we have to ask ourselves, why is that? And if he hasn't done that, okay, how can people out there say that he's aggressively pursuing Terence Crawford, or say that Terence Crawford is ducking Sean Porter? So we can see that these guys are out there spinning narratives. Okay, that's all it is, just pure narratives and fake news these guys are out there spinning okay and so we have to stop this nonsense you know and these you know a lot of these fans don't really know nothing about boxing they go and listen to these guys and these guys are out there you know spinning these narratives and talking nonsense as a matter of fact 
let me give you an example of some nonsense that that's out there and that we're seeing you know from some of these so-called uh youtubers you know uh commentators pundits or whatever you want to call them you know what i mean uh out there spinning these narratives let's take a look at this this is we, we all know who this is okay uh, he's he, he's out there spinning narratives against Crawford daily and there go his co-conspirator okay next to him now this is what we, what passes for fans on his channel okay here it is uh some guy here he is charles young paid 14.99 okay to ask this question on, on this guy's channel and so we see why these guys are spinning these narratives there it is 14.99 right uh so he's asking this question he says salute blue i ain't saying bud ducking but when mean machine was his mandatory he was quick to make that fight now that porter is his mandatory it's standby so okay let's take a look at that we're gonna we're gonna educate these guys now about you know what this is all about i just show you the definition of mandatory right so he's trying to say that bud uh crawford is putting porter on standby okay no crawford is not putting Porter on standby okay porter is putting him, his own self on standby okay basically shucking and jiving out there you know uh and that's all it is so let's look at what this guy is saying okay that mean machine was his manager and he was quick to make the fight it wasn't that uh Crawford was quick to make the fight what happened it was that mean machine was the mandatory okay and what mean machine did was instead of running his mouth and talking nonsense and you know trying to get this or that he immediately enforced his mandatory and terence crawford had to fight him okay because why because mean machine enforced his mandatory he didn't just sit, have the mandatory and sit there running his mouth talking about this and talking about that he enforced it immediately and so Crawford had to fight him immediately or lose his belt. Plain and simple. Okay. So if 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 Sean Porter really wants this fight with uh Terrence Crawford, all he has to do is enforce his mandatory, and the fight will happen immediately, just like it did with uh Mean Machine. That's the way the mandatory works. So when this guy asked this question up there on you know uh Blue Blood Sports uh show, what did Blue Blood Sports say when this guy put this up there? Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, I, I don't understand it either. What do you mean you don't understand it? You don't understand what a mandatory is? You couldn't educate this guy about what's really going on? But, well, he's paying you $14.99, so you don't want to educate him too much because he's not going to pay you another $14.99 or $50 or $100 or whatever these people are paying you to, you know, to spin your narrative. So you're not going to do that, okay? You're going to keep him ignorant, okay? So there it is, okay? And, you know, this guy next to him, Kurt, you know, supposed to be, you know, uh, 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 uh. this guy is supposed to be, you know, so so called educated about boxing, you know, uh, because there's a guy called Milani Milani out there. Shout out to Milani Milani. You know, he's a guy that follow boxing, and he asks, you know, he, he was asking Blue Blood Sports and them, why are they spinning these narratives against Crawford and trying to blame everything on Crawford? And, you know, why he asked the question, why didn't Sean Porter, you know, enforce his mandatory? And you know what this guy said? Why does Sean, this is what Blue Blood Sports says, why does Sean Porter got to do everything for, for Crawford? Why does he have to do everything for Crawford? What, I mean, how dumb can you be? What are you talking about? He's not doing anything for, for Bud Crawford by enforcing his mandatory. That's the only way the fight is going to happen is if he, if he enforces the mandatory. The mandatory has to be enforced. And the fight would not happen. So he's not doing anything for Bud Crawford by enforcing his mandatory. He's doing it for himself. So you want Crawford to enforce the mandatory for, for, for Sean Porter. I mean, these guys are so, I mean, these guys are as dumb as rocks. Okay. That's, this is what it comes down to. Okay. I mean, and, and they're, you know, just leading these fans around by the nose, you know, who's even dumber than they are. Okay. So this is what's going on for commentary and boxing today. These guys out there spinning narrative against Crawford, you know, making up all kind of lies and, and, and telling lies on Crawford, okay, just to make a few dollars. I mean, it's ridiculous at this point, man. I mean, I don't know what to say. All I can tell you is that, you know, we, we, this, this, this has to stop, okay? We have to stop with this nonsense.
Okay. So at the end of the day, Sean Porter claimed that he wanted to fight uh, Terrence Crawford. Okay. Okay. So I understand. So he, you know, when when you have a mandatory, typically in the mandatory, you know, the uh, the challenger gets maybe 75, 25, 75, between 75, 25, and 75, 35. Okay. So Crawford, so Porter doesn't want to accept the 35% or the 25% or the 30%. He wants more money. Okay. So he's, you know, playing it, playing the game, you know, like, you know, trying to make it seem like Crawford is ducking him and he's out there. And he's, he, he even said it out of his own mouth. He's not going to accept a million dollars, which is what he was offered at first. He's not accepting a million dollars. Okay. Okay, fine. So Porter, I mean, Crawford and his camp, they up the, they up the money. They say, okay, you know, you don't want to accept uh, $1 million. You know, that's what a mandatory, you know, that's more than what a mandatory challenger will get anyway. But if you don't want to accept that mandatory, okay, you know, we got our history together, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to give you $2 million. Porter still doesn't want to accept the $2 million. Now he doesn't want, that, which is the highest pay that he ever got in his career. You know, the, the high, the, the, he had two million dollars against uh, Spence in his unification bout. Okay, just to show you. And then at that point, he had a title and one less loss in his record, and he got two million dollars in that fight. Okay, it was guaranteed two million dollars. Here they're guaranteeing him two million dollars for mandatory, which is unheard of. Okay, it's unheard of. Just to give you an example, when 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 uh Sean Porter fought Sebastian Formello. Okay, Sean Porter got one point two million dollars, and Sebastian Formello got three hundred thousand dollars, like twenty five percent of what Sean Porter got. Okay, because Formello was the mandatory, so he got what the mandatory gets. He exercised the mandatory. He got the fight with Sean Porter, and he took his three uh, hundred thousand dollars and went about his business. Here we have Sean Porter. Okay, so Sean Porter feels like he deserves more than what a mandatory gets, even though, even though technically, you know, that's not the case. Okay, Crawford is under no obligation, okay, to raise the money from the mandatory for Sean Porter. Okay, he has he has no obligation to do that. If 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 Sean Porter doesn't like the money, he can go to purse bid, okay, and see how much he can get in a purse bid. All right, but. Crawford didn't let it go that far. Crawford said, okay, you know, you want more than $1 million, and we're going to offer you $2 million. We're going to match whatever the high, your highest payday was in your career. We're going to give you $2 million. Porter still don't want $2 million. He's still not accepting the $2 million. He's out there shucking and jiving around, you know, uh, trying to make it seem like, okay, that, you know, that Porter, is, you know, that Crawford is ducking him and this, that, and the other, talking about he could knock out Crawford. <laughs> you know, he's out there talking all this nonsense. So there it is. So those are the facts. You know, everything else that you and these people out there talking about is just pure nonsense, okay? And I'm giving you receipts, okay? I'm not just talking out of, you know, out of my mouth. I'm just giving you, I'm giving you the receipts. I'm showing you what it's all about. If Sean Porter wants this fight with Terrence Crawford, like he's claimed, he's been claiming this all, for almost a year now that he wants this fight, okay? But he hasn't enforced the mandatory yet, okay? He hasn't, oh, and just for those people who didn't see what we just saw, okay, and if you know you don't you're not gonna believe what I'm saying, maybe you'll believe what Sean Porter is gonna say. You got any questions right now, Carson? Yeah, so the let's get the elephant in the room addressed. So the number one question in multiple forms and varieties and everything is you and Terrence Crawford. People want to know why you haven't initiated the mandatory status, what's I going spoke on to my dad just on Wednesday. And I saw I said, Hey, have you talked to um, AH and he says, no, uh, we, we haven't talked in a little bit. I says, uh, have you, do you, have you thought about anything as far as the managers are concerned? Do you know about activating these clauses that they're, that I've been seeing in the news? And he says, no, I don't know about that. Let me give him a call. So that was Wednesday on Wednesday. There it is. So I don't want to hear nothing from these guys out there talking about, you know, uh, Sean Porter is aggressively pursuing Crawford that Crawford is ducking Sean Porter. It's all fake news, okay? It's narrative that they're spinning against Crawford, which they, they've been doing for, for years now, okay? And just to make a few bucks, okay, at the end of the day. So, again, if Crawford really, if, 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 
if uh, Sean Porter Showtime really wants this fight, he's going to have to enforce the mandatory, and it's simple as that, okay? Or he's going to be on standby, okay? Because if the challenger doesn't enforce the mandatory, the, the champion can go ahead and get fights in between, okay? So we hear uh, Crawford is saying that he has a fight May 29th. The only reason that he can have a fight May 29th, okay, which is like, what, May 29th is when? Uh, this is what, March? April, May, that, that's, that's a little, little over two months, okay? The only reason that Crawford can do that is because Sean Porter has not enforced the mandatory. Because in the WBO, they have a 60-day window. In, the, the, the champion cannot make another fight if the, the challenger enforces the mandatory and there's, less than, there's 60 days or less to go for the fight, okay? So... That's why, this is why Crawford can go ahead and get another fight. He can take as many fights as he wants as long as Sean Porter doesn't enforce the mandatory. And the mandatory doesn't last forever because if Sean Porter doesn't enforce the mandatory, eventually somebody else will, will he, he will have to defend to, to keep the mandatory. He'll have to defend against some another fighter to be able to stay in that mandatory position. So he can't be mandatory forever, okay? And so in the meantime, if he's not going to enforce the mandatory, Terrence Crawford can go ahead and have other fights in between if it's less than if it's above 60 days so we're seeing that sean paul is not enforcing his mandatory and so crawford is not going to stand around and wait for uh and wait for porter to decide what he wants to do that's why uh terence crawford is saying porter should just stay on standby because that's what porter is doing he's standing by it's not because crawford is forcing him to stand by it's because Sean Porter refused to enforce the mandatory, so he's putting himself on standby. Okay, so this is why you know, uh, you know, people like this, dumb people like you know, dummies like Charles Young is out there talking about, uh, uh, you know, now that Porter is his mandatory, is standby. No, it's standby because that's what Porter is doing to himself, that's not what uh, Crawford is doing. Because if Porter enforces that mandatory. Crawford has to fight him. Has to. He, he had no choice but to either fight Porter or vacate his title. And we already know that he's not going to do that. Okay. So, I mean, we even heard Crawford hold uh, Porter. I dare you to enforce this mandatory. I'm daring you to do it. If you do it and I'll stop you. So, there it is. So, I don't, you know, I'm tired of this nonsense from these people. Stop with the nonsense. Stop with the narrative. Stop talking nonsense, okay, out there about, you know, uh, Sean Porter is aggressively pursuing Crawford. He's not doing nothing of the type. He's not trying to, he's not aggressively pursuing no one. He's just standing by, okay? And that's all he's doing. And that's, Crawford is just showing you that that's what he's doing. So, it, that's why Crawford is saying, okay, you just want to stand by and not enforce the mandatory, okay? I'm just going to go in and get another fight in the meantime, so you can do whatever you want. So there it is, and that's all it is to it. So, you know, I'm not going to make this a long video, because it doesn't really need to be that long, okay? I, I already made my point, okay? The bottom line is, Sean Porter needs to enforce his mandatory. If he's not going to enforce the mandatory, he just needs to stand by and just be quiet, and it's simple as that. So... That's all I have for right now. Make sure you hit the like button, okay? Because I'm going to keep educating people about what's going on in boxing, okay? Uh, that's all I have for right now. Again, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. This is TBE. Shout out to Milani Milani. This is TBE. I'm out.